Portsmouth in the process of becoming the first Premier League club to go into administration after four undisclosed buyers failed to prove that they had the funds to buy the club by yesterday afternoon's deadline. Pompey will play third tier football for the first time since 1983. What's so blessed about passion, commitment, and loyalty? Fatal Park is the place. Yeah. They cannot destroy our spirit. Never! This football club, this city, it, it's intertwined. The people of this city are, whatever league we're in, wherever we are, they are massively proud of their football club. I believe we've got the greatest supporters in the world. Breaking news coming out of Portsmouth Football Club today as the club have announced that Shad Tabassoum, a Saudi prince, has taken over the football club. This is a statement the club released a short while ago. We are delighted to announce that Shad Tabassoum has taken over Portsmouth Football Club. Shad has a huge love for football and wants to get Portsmouth back to where they belong. We have a long-term plan which focuses heavily on youth. We have already begun working on training facilities and employed world-class scouts. We want to ensure the longevity of Portsmouth Football Club and we truly believe that we will get back to where we belong in the Premier League and be competing in Europe. What is going on guys? My name is Brad aka the Gaming Buddha and welcome to my Portsmouth career mode. As you can see the main theme for this career mode is that a Saudi Prince has taken over the football club, wants to invest heavily in youth and wants to get Portsmouth back to the Premier League where they belong and then competing in the Champions League. Now I like five to six homegrown youth players in the squad eventually and I like to flesh out with real world players as well. I love the scouting system on FIFA, I use it every year. I cannot wait for this career mode and I will be giving you my tips and tricks on how to get players in specific positions as well. So in this career mode, for the first few episodes, we will be simming. I will not be showing you the games. I'll be showing you what the scouts bring back. I'll be showing you how the players are developing in the academy. And of course, we'll be training them up and getting them ready for the first team squad and for the Premier League. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this. So we have all of our scouts here and ready to go, all five star, five star. The first one we will set up now, we'll be going to England first and I'd like most of the players to be coming from England if possible, we are an English side. So we will go and set this up, we will go to England and I think I'll just go any for, let's say three, six, let's go any for six months. So for the second scout, we will go to South America, we could go to Argentina, Chile, Uruguay, we go to Brazil. I tell you what, we'll go to Brazil and we will go to Brazil for, should we go for any? Or should we go for a specific type of player? Hmm, I think we'll go any for the first three months and see what we get and then we can go for specifics if we feel the need to. So for the third scout, I think I fancy going to France. So again, we'll go for, to France for three months, we'll go for any, we won't go for a particular type of player. So let's see what France can bring back for us. So we have our first scout report, let's see if this five star, five star scout can produce anything and Patrick Edwards shares the same second here with me, four foot eight, he's only 15 so he will grow. He doesn't look too bad at all so we'll sign him up and get him straight in the academy. The rest, no, we're only going for the top, top players and none of these are worth keeping in my opinion. So our Northern Irish scout has been in Brazil, it's the first scout report from him, 43 to 59, 70 to 94 potential. It's not the best, but you never know, that could go up. And obviously, the training this year is absolutely ridiculous. People can fly up 20 points in just a season. So we'll sign him up. Gil Conceição, I think is how you pronounce it. Whoa, look at this 16-year-old. 
Alexis Corsia. 55 to 73 overall, 83 to 94 potential straight away. Hopefully that stays like that and obviously goes up and narrows down. So we'll sign him straight up. Do we have anyone else? Reynold Apaya, 48 to 64, 70 to 94 potential. He's 17. He could be worth signing as well. Anyone else? No, but that's a great start from the scout in France. We've had our first youth squad monthly report and Reynold Apaya he's not like he's gonna be worth keeping 64 to 84 that's probably just gonna keep going down so we'll go ahead and release him from the academy we don't want him to take up any space but the keeper looks like we found a world beater already overall rated 61 87 to 94 potential he says he's only five foot seven at the moment but I'm pretty sure when he turns 17 and we sign him he will actually grow Conte Sao, he's classed as a playmaker, centre midfield player. Playmakers usually aren't too good when you scout them on FIFA. They usually have really low stats. They've been a little bit better this year, but still, you're much better off with a technically gifted or physically strong player. Now, Patrick Edwards, as I said, he says he's four foot eight, but he will grow as well. 77 to 94, technically gifted, overall rated 60. He looks really good and he will grow a lot in the academy. As you can see already, he's got 75 dribbling. So I'm really looking forward to see how he keeps on developing. So our scout in England has brought back another player, Jack Turner. 53 to 71, 75 to 94 potential. His strengths, I'm not sure whether he'll be... I've, I've got a feeling he might be a defensive-minded player. And defensive-minded players aren't usually the best he could be a central defensive midfield. In that case, if he is, he could be all right. But we will sign him anyway. And there is no one else in the scout report, so we will get rid of all of them. Adriano Guerra, 48 to 64 overall, 76 to 94 potential, 4 foot 9, right foot at a 15. He's low, but he could be worthy. We can get him in the academy and see what he's rated anyway. So Adriano Guerra is rated 55 overall. And he's classed as a winger and he's actually a centre forward. His acceleration is 76, his sprint speed is 73 already. Now the rest of his stats are quite low, but if we train him and get him up, he could be a really, really useful player for us because you can play him in many different positions with that pace. We'll definitely, definitely be keeping him. So in our monthly youth squad report, of course she is looking good, he's 64 overall already. He's 16, but I'm going to keep him in the academy for now and keep training him up. 84 to 94 potential. Jack Turner. As I said, I thought he would be a defensive midfield player, and he is. But he's 60 overall, and hopefully his stats will continue to grow, and his height will actually grow as well. Guerra, 81 to 94 potential. He's looking really good. Conce Sao, I think we're going to get rid of him. I don't really feel he's worth investing in. Then Edwards, right mid, he's looking really good. 82 to 94 potential as well. Really excited about him. Wow, George Seaborn, 52 to 70 overall, 79 to 94. Hello, my friend. He looks very, very good. English talent, that's what we want. We'll get him straight in the academy. Our final scout report from Brazil is in, and our scout has brought back Flavio Tavares, 50 to 66 overall, 73 to 94 potential. He is definitely worth signing. And there's not really any other players to know. 47 to 63, Pedro Cairo. Not sure he's worth it. We could have a look at him. He could be a centre-back, so he could be worth signing. So we'll get him in the academy and see what he looks like. What a load of rubbish that is. Seeing as our scout is from Republic of Ireland, I thought, let's send him to Republic of Ireland, see what he can bring back from his home country. We're going to go for three months, and we'll just go for any nothing in particular. So that will about do it for this episode. In the next few episodes, we will continue to scout players and get them ready for the Premier League. So thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more FIFA. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day and I will catch you all next time.